Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Let's Heal Live. We're so happy that you're joining us this morning. I'm Monica, and I have with me our returning guest. Introduce yourself. I'm Linda Rainey, and it's nice to be here. Good to have you, and I'm Fred Serrano. Good seeing you. All right, we're all gonna. It looks like we're all gonna have to talk just a little bit louder so that we want everybody to hear us. So, okay. Linda and Fred are with us. Kate is still recovering from her <coughs> surgery. And so, hey, Kate, I hope you're out there watching and praying with us from home, and we wish you a speedy and full recovery, for sure. Um, but we're delighted that Linda was able to come and sit in with us and pray with us today. So, um, let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Heavenly Father, we are here today to follow you, to listen to you, help us hear you. We love you, and we just praise you. We're just so thankful for all the many, many blessings that you give us. Please send your Holy Spirit down in this space and in all the homes of the people who are watching. Bring your Holy Spirit into our hearts. Let's just take a minute and invoke the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. I feel it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and we are going to um, remember in our prayers a few people besides Kate who's recovering. We pray for Kevin Smith who's in the hospital receiving another treatment. And the treatments were working, but it's just kind of a vicious injection. So um, we're with you, Kevin, and we hope that this works and continues to bring you to restored health. And no more cancer. Get away. And we pray for our, our co-worker, Michael, my be our little buddy our tech guy he's not doing well right now and so Michael we just pray that you receive the healing that you need and some comfort and we ask the doctors we pray for the doctors who are with you that they can figure out what's going on and give you some relief from the pain so um and we pray for Mike Kerger who had surgery this morning and Brenda said that his surgery went well so that's where pr that's our prayers of thanksgiving that because he's got a long road ahead of him and we pray that this helps him in his in his healing and then Fred's friend Donna who um, received a terrible diagnosis and um, is really struggling with hers and we pray for her conversion of heart and conversion of body that she will be healed and restored to joy and strength and comfort amen, amen. amen. all right so thank you all for joining us and we are going to reflect on this past Sunday's gospel and then I do have another modern day story to go with it. So first we will begin. Linda's going to read the full gospel from this past Sunday. It's from the book of John, chapter 1, verses 25 through 42. Uh, 35 through 42. So sorry. John was standing with two of his disciples. And as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and they saw where Jesus was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, one, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. Amen. Don't you just love that he went and got his brother? Yes. That I just love that. Because if he hadn't gotten his brother, I wonder what. So. We wouldn't have Peter. Yeah. It would have been different. It would have been different. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the uh, story that was given to me, it came through yesterday, um, is called Mallory's New Title. And it actually is inspired by our first reading from this Sunday, which was from Sam, uh, first book of Samuel and, um, and the gospel. So you'll hear some rings of both of those in this um, little story. Mallory was sleeping in her apartment in the city where she worked. 
She awoke in the night hearing the CEO of her company calling her name. She sat up and turned on the light. Here I am. You called me? She said to the empty room. Mallory sat still listening, but heard nothing more. She shrugged and lay back down. It was just a dream, she told herself, and went back to sleep. Again, Mill Mallory heard the CEO calling her name. She sat up abruptly. Here I am, she said to the dark. You called me. This time, she didn't bother turning on the light, for she knew no one was there. Mallory awoke, hearing the CEO calling her name again for the third time. She got out of bed and walked to her small kitchen table to have a cup of tea and try to figure out why this was happening. She wasn't sure what to think of it. She hadn't even met the CEO of her company, and as she was a fairly young in her career and very far down the chain of command. She knew him only by the training vi videos for new hires. Mallory was supervised, supervised by Don, the marketing manager. Don answered to the vice president, who answered to the CEO, whose office was on the top floor of the building. That morning in the office, Don, the marketing manager, was standing with two of the company executives as he watched Mallory walk by. He said, Mallory is a brilliant team, man team member. She has a real gift for brand marketing. The CEO heard what Don said and, followed, and he followed Mallory. She turned and saw him following her and said to him, what are you looking for? He said to her, where are you working at this moment? She said to him, come and you will see. So they went down to the basement, passed by rows of filing cabinets, through the mail room, into a small room, and saw where she was working. It w really wasn't big enough to be labeled an office, and it was furnished with an old metal desk and a metal folding t chair. There were no windows and certainly no frills. Mallory brightened the space with a bright blue lamp and a few bright blue desk accessories. It's not so bad, she said, after seeing the look of horror on the CEO's face. Besides, I'm on the move a lot, checking on the progress of my projects, working with the creative team to be sure each account is represented the best it can be. The CEO decided to observe Mallory the rest of the day. At about four o'clock in the afternoon, Douglas, a friend and coworker of Mallory, who had overheard part of the executive's conversation, went to his brother, Timothy, who also worked at the company and told him, the upper brass have discovered Mallory's talent. Just then, the CEO brought Mallory before the whole main floor office. He looked at her and said, this is Mallory, one of your team members who excels at her job. I believe she may one day rise to my position of CEO of this company. For now, you will be called branding manager and you will be moved to the executive suite upstairs. The end. <laughs> That was good. Go Mallory! Good yes. for Mallory! <laughs> All right, so now we will get back out of our little fun state and dream world and we're going to enter into some serious prayer time with our Lord. He's here with us and he, he wants us to follow him so that when he turns, he sees us and, he's gonna, and he knows we're there and we need to know that he's with us. So let us do that now. We're going to enter the process of Lectio Divina. Lectio Divina is divine reading, an encounter with God. The key elements are to allow the Lord to lead this prayer time. Be open to hearing God speak through his living word. Surrender to his message for you at this moment. Accept the challenge to wrestle with and grow into the word that God gives you. Allow his word to nourish and transform you. Reading the sacred word is listening to the voice of God. We listen deeply with our heart. Just be present in each movement and take time to savor this process. Be attentive to your breathing. Let go of distractions. Open yourself to this encounter with God. Our first movement is called Letzio, which means reading. We will read the scripture passage slowly. Listen for a word or a small phrase that beckons, unnerves, disturbs, or shimmers, and gently focus on that word in silence. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher. Where are you staying? 
He said to them, Come, and you will see. Our second movement is meditatio, which means reflecting. We will read the same scripture passage again. Focus on the word or phrase that shimmers 
and accept any images, feelings, and memories that stir in your heart. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher. Where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. Our third movement is Orazio, which means responding. We will read the same scripture passage once again. Listen for what connects with your life and record the prayer, awareness, or call to action that arises from your reflection. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, what are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which is translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see.
So at this point, we will share the one word or phrase that was given to each one of us. I actually got two words, turned and looking. Linda? I had looking. And Fred? You will see. Hmm. I bet they're all related. So those of you watching, I invite you to please type in your word or phrase in the comment section and we will complete our fourth movement and then come back for the full discussion. So our fourth movement is contemplatio, which means resting. So we will read the same scripture passage once more. Slow your thoughts and just rest in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Offer gratitude for his presence in this time of prayer, stillness, and communion with him and with one another. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So this concludes our prayer time. So just gently connect with your breathing and become aware of your surroundings again. Take a couple of deep breaths. Just feel that he's still with us. And we're back. So I hope it was a good reflection time for all of you. It was for us. It sure was. Um, I wanted to just dig in and take a bunch of it. So I think we all decided that we're going to Keep focusing on this one small phrase because there's so much in it. I think the Lord has a lot to say to us. And I'm excited that 
so many of us had similar words. I see Holly had come and see, and Maureen had come, Kate had come, Jane had turned, just like I did. So um, I can't wait to see what, what the discussion leads. So Linda, would you like to go first and talk a little bit about what you got? I had looking, and it seems like we're always looking, we're always searching. And sometimes we fail to realize how lucky and blessed we are because if we just stop and listen to what he has to say, look at our surroundings. We're blessed every day. We have a canvas that's been painted in front of us with nothing but beauty. We have food on our tables, a roof over our head. Why are we looking and searching for what we already have? It's because of him. And he's given us this, he's provided us with this. All the blessings that we have, the talents that we share, are because of him. Amen. Very good. That's beautiful. Thank you. It's a very good reminder, and I think we get too distracted from things to remember that. Um, so mine was similar. So first I had turned, and then I had looking, but then what he gave me just processed it all. It made perfect sense that it all went, and it kind of rides on um, what Linda's saying. And so I, I had this vision, remembering traveling with my kids, my four children in the van, and we would be traveling through the mountains or something, you know, something different, and I would say, look, kids, look, mm -hmm. see the snow on the mountain? And then I'd turn around, and they're all looking in a different direction. Nobody's looking <laughs> at where I'm pointing. And so half of them, you know, most of them missed it. And it's like, okay, when mama says look, look at mama first. See where I'm pointing so you know where to look. But anyway, they never caught on to that. But then it turned back to me. <laughs> and I just imagined myself thinking that I'm following Jesus. And then, um, then I realized that I'm following my own thoughts and plans and agendas. And, but if I turn and I look... What am I looking at? And I see him. Then whatever I had planned, he has something just so much more brilliant and better to come. Thank and you. that's where I was. That's great. Very good. Beautiful. Thank you. I follow up on that turn. I'm just glad Jesus turned and looked at me. Okay. Yeah. And he gave me the recognition that I was there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because he could have kept on going. Jesus, don't leave me behind. Okay. He turned around and uh, I picked the word, you will see. Once we find Jesus, okay, once we find Jesus in our lives, um, we will see the big picture. Okay, we'll mm. see his big picture, what, everything. Maybe we don't realize what he's telling us right now, what we're experiencing right now, but if we follow Jesus, okay, uh, and he's telling us, uh, come and you will see the big picture. It's the pi picture of uh, everlasting life and happiness with him. So that's what I got. Amen. Beautiful. It's all so beautiful and so positive, and it brings joy to my heart. I hope it brings joy to your hearts. And so just this week, whenever, you know, we start paying too much attention maybe to the news or to bad things that have happened over the past year, to turn. Turn back. Don't look back. Turn and see what he has. What Come and see, right? We will see. So we, we just pray for you all and wish you all a very blessed week. Everyone, please stay healthy. Turn and see that joy. Everybody who's sick, just feel better. Just feel better. And we hope you join us next week. Thanks, Linda, for coming and sitting in for Kate. Thank you it's for It's always fun me. to have you. You did great. Thanks. Thank you, Linda. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks. A perfect passage to meditate on. Okay? All week. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? We have it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.